All right. So one of the brother, he is also in Dublin and studying in Griffith College, but uh, in some account, account, uh, commerce, commerce related subject, which I do not have much uh, knowledge about. But uh, he is interested in doing PhD, and he is he has also watched uh, some of my videos uh, about PhDs and so on in Ireland. That's that's fantastic. Thank you. Now he actually asked. Uh, he's studying also masters, and he also asked that he, I mean, how he can start a PhD in Ireland. Now. Um, uh, uh, after reading his email, I understood that he has not clear idea what a PhD is all about. He probably uh, was thinking that PhD is uh, some sort of de uh, another degree, which is kind of similar f uh, as bachelor's or master's. So, um, this is not uh, not not true, right? So, PhD generally in uh, four years in Ireland, and in India, in America, it is uh, five years and rest of the Europe it is more or less uh, three years. So it is not any structure, structured sort of program to be honest. Like in bachelor's and master's you are given a set of subjects, set of modules or set of topics. You study, I mean teachers come into the classroom, uh, they, they teach and you solve questions, you solve assigns assignments you give mid semester exam semester final end semester exam or some exam and you get a sort of <laughs> marks and so on right so and you get some uh, a a plus b plus or whatever sort of results at the end of your uh, exam and if it is like four years course then at the end of four years you get a mark sheet where all the all the topics uh, or all the subject you have studied is written and against them what are the marks or grade you have got it is uh, clearly written and final grade is there and blah blah right so this is not not you will not get any sort of such thing after you finish your phd so this video is for those who has absolutely no idea or kind of vague idea what a PhD is. There are, you will get a lot of videos in YouTube what is PhD and so on. So this is my take on. And since I'm a mathematics background student and did my PhD in, in one of the in, uh, engineering department in Ireland. Um, so I want to take like one or two minutes to make you understand what a PhD is and probably that will be uh, 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 applicable to any other branch of subject, science, arts, commerce and so on. So a PhD is something, uh, and first of all, uh, he, why you should do a PhD, you, uh, you should uh, be clear about that. <coughs> so I started, I, I wanted to do PhD because I was uh, interested in studying something for four years long right and even if it was five years I, I was ready to study for five years so you have to be uh, very clear about some topic or subject or at least even if it is not clear you have to be uh, okay if that I will be able to uh, study or go on with that topic for the four years so it is not uh, a different set of topics uh, there will be no one to uh, take your written exam or oral exam just the way you were doing in your bachelor's or master study no this is not the case so in general phd you have to solve some problem uh, and the problem will be discussed uh, with the help of your supervisor co-supervisor and yourself right so you are given some sort of uh, pro some sort of problem and you and which is which has not been solved or even if it has been solved uh, you are probably asked to make a solution which is better than the existing solution right so roughly this is the case for example if you ask me what is my phd was in very layman term i was asked to solve a problem uh, is like let's say you, you have a limited amount of resource some resource and 
many people are trying to access that resource uh, in a random fashion right so and those people have no inter uh, communication in between between them now can you de define a control strategy strategy that that the limited resource that those people are trying to access will sort of get an equal amount of share of, uh, in, in, in the long run and no matter from which day they start to access that resource they will be at least happy that they uh, they will be at least happy to uh, get the amount of share they actually uh, wanted wants to so this is roughly was the problem something called resource allocation problem or resource sharing problem so you see that you have to design some algorithm or control strategy so that those people uh, you 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 sort of orchestrate their behavior of those people so that on on an average everyone gets sort of equal amount of share so that's very roughly this is this was my phd for four years and and you, you can ask how you can solve this and blah blah but that's uh, completely depends on your background and everything and how uh, how you are at attacking the problem so not only solving the problem you have to publish your your studies and whatever the solution you're giving to some journals or some conferences right so uh, so it's uh, between you your supervisor and your co-supervisors it's completely uh, uh, your PhD is all about that so uh, the video I'm making for you you have to find a topic or subject that you are passionate about and you can bear with four years to study or whatever happens for the four year four years when you start your PhD and I hopefully things will be good bad or ugly you have to accept that for me the journey was fantastic for other people the journey may be less fantastic or more fan more fantastic so it's all about um, how you are accepting your <laughs> Uh, your sort of PhD journey. I hope this is clear, right? And I think if it is not clear, you can search more <laughs> videos in 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 YouTube that they will give you much more sort of uh, realistic examples and so on. So, so uh, thank you.